Welcome back, everyone. Owls from Owls Wonderless Adventures. This episode is our last day in Japan. The highlights of today is hands on sushi making, which we'll eat for lunch. We visit the uh, Ashikusa Senjoji Temple in Tokyo. Then we explore and shop at the Amiko Market Street. Then we head on to Haneda Airport to check in for our flight to Honolulu. <laughs> our sushi making session took place at Yachiko Shin Almachi. Restaurant. Our master sushi chef was Mr. Hashimoto. He has over 40 years experience as a master sushi chef. For me, this is my first lesson on making sushi. First nigiri sushi I'm making is using yellowfin tuna. sushi I'm making is using salmon. The next sushi I'm making is using tamago. It's a Japanese rolled omelette, also known as tamago yaki. The omelette is sweet, has a light texture, and works well when served over sushi rice with soy sauce and wasabi sauce. The next sushi I'm making is using salmon eggs or the Japanese name for okura, Japanese style sushi with fresh salmon roe eggs. The last sushi I'm making is using cucumbers.
you're visiting Japan, I highly recommend you add to your itinerary a class on sushi making. It was a great experience. Mr. Hashimoto did a great job on explaining how to make nigiri sushi, and it was delicious. Arigato, Mr. Hashimoto. Located in Tokyo's traditional district of Asakusa, the Senjoji Temple, also known as the Asakusa Canon Temple, is one of the city's most frequented and colorful Buddhist temples. I learned that two brothers fished a statue of Canon, the goddess of mercy, out of the Semida River back in the year 628. Although the brothers returned the statues back to the river, it was always back to them. This resulted in the construction of the Sensoji Temple, which was built nearby the river for the Goddess of Mercy. Completed in the year 645, the Sensoji Temple is Tokyo's oldest temple. Amayoko, a busy market street along the Yamanote line tracks between Okamachi and the Ueno stations. Various products such as clothes, bags, cosmetics, fresh fish, dry food, and spices are sold on along the Amayoko. And as a reminder, make sure you bring your passport, credit cards, and cash to buy things. The reason I say your passports, you can get a discount and not pay the tax when purchasing items. Amiyoko, it was originally a place of shopping for local people, but now it becomes a touristic attraction and many foreigners come to visit. You can find many cheap goods. Of course, there are many things to eat. Huh? Emiyoko stretches approximately 500 meters between JR Ueno Station and JR Okamachi Station, with around 400 shops lining the street. Amiyoko Shopping Street is a must-visit destination in Tokyo. <laughs> this is a Hello Kitty store. You got a lot of stuff? Yes, I got stuff for the uh, guest bathroom. <laughs>
Checking in and going through security, we hung out at the Sakura Lounge until our departure time. He's just a baseball player. <laughs> Amazing Japan adventure. First, I want to say thank you, arigato, mahalo to Roger, Natasha, Jason, and enjoying this adventure with me. Amiko, our local tour guide, she did an outstanding job explaining and showing us the areas. Wally, the one stop travel group corner, did a great job in keeping us in line and making sure we were on time. 
and One Stop Travel uh, Hawaii staff group who uh, did a great job in organizing this tour and Japan Airlines. We visited 10 cities from the north of Sapporo to the south of Tokyo, onsen hot springs baths, making ice cream at Watanabe Farm in Hokkaido. The icebreaker cruise was amazing. Making sushi was outstanding. And visiting all the other sites and riding the train, not the bullet train, but a regular train to Kawazu to see the cherry blossoms. This was my first time visiting Japan, my first time traveling with a tour group, and my first, my third Asian country in seven months. I highly recommend everyone to visit Japan. I want to say thank you to all my subscribers and all who are new to my channel for watching my videos. Subscribe if you want to join me on future adventures. Until next time, when possible, go outside and explore.